four of these knuckles. Well, there's only three two wise of us. <laughs> <laughs> the first <There's> no... <laughs> the angels did sing for. You keep messing it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. Hey, folks. Nice to see you again. Welcome to the Tim and Eric Nightlife Christmas Spectacular. We are live on the internet, and we're about to start right now. Tonight on Tim and Eric Nightlife, Tom Hanks with musical guests, Green Day. Hi, and welcome to a very <laughs> special episode of Tim and Eric Night Live. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this live broadcast on superdeluxe.com. We got a terrific show tonight. We've got our number one fan with us tonight, a man named Pat Horse from uh, outside the city in the valley, but he won a very special contest to be with us tonight. God bless him. Uh, we also have uh, Ron Oster, who is also known as Pierre. He's the doo 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 guy. He's going to be telling us a little bit about what he does uh, for traditions on the holidays. We also have the one and only David Liebehart, who will be joining us later, later for a very special uh, birthday song, holiday song. Yeah, and you know what, Tim? We brought all of our friends of Night Live with us today to celebrate the holidays, to have a great time. Uh, we've got Richard Dunn and, of course, the Night Live singers. Oh, so, it's going to be a terrific show. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, uh, Tim? Um, one of my holiday traditions in my family is my mom makes uh, mean eggnog. Oh, and I, What is this? You didn't tell me you yeah. this. What is and, this? In honor of the holidays, I thought I could show you one of my holiday traditions by giving you some eggnog. Oh, well, thank you so much. I do love eggnog. Slide that in. So this is your mom's yeah, recipe? It's a, it's what a, is it's, this? Well, it's my mem mems. It's my grand mem mem. Okay. And uh, it's, a, it's an old German recipe. Have some. To health. How is it? Uh, there's something weird about that. Let's try another. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, is it? How is that? Is there alcohol in here? Or is this uh, virgin? No. Or, okay. It does got a weird taste in it. Right. I can't try, let's try one more. What do you think? It's got a tart. I can't figure it out. It's like an orange juice without uh, the sweetness right. or something. Well, Tim, the secret to my Mem Mem's eggnog is she mm -hmm. actually it's got a weird... rots those eggs for about mm -hmm. 10 days before she mixes oh. that nog together. A... <clears throat> she gets a dozen eggs, she puts it out by the sun, and that's what gives it that specific <laughs> tang. Uh, and that's probably what you're tasting around your lips and your mm -hmm. gums. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holiday traditions, holiday traditions. All right, folks. Um, I'm sorry. Um, we are celebrating people's traditions um, today, and everyone's got their own family traditions. Um, tonight, we're going to cut over and to, over to our night live Christmas tree. <laughs> it's got all this sh shit on me. Um, Ron Oster here has a uh, special uh, treat for us. We're going to take a look at that right now. Hey, Ron. What Ron, do you... happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hey. What, what do you do on the holiday? What, what does your family do on the holidays? We just eat a lot of meat. <laughs> oh, you're decorating the tree. You... <laughs> it, like you, it looks like you're putting meat on the tree. Are you decorating the tree with meat? or? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Is there a, any specific kind of meat that you use, or...? Yeah, we're using uh, kato salami. And let's see, we have ham. Hey, Richard, have you ever heard of such a tradition by putting, putting those old meats on a tree? No, but it sounds very delicious. Richard Dunn, ladies and gentlemen, with us tonight, as always. <laughs> holiday traditions, holiday traditions. 
I gotta say, folks, we're having so much fun, and it is it is time for us to have a little bit of fun because it is the holidays. And what a treat to have with us one of the biggest fans of Tim and Eric Night Live. We've only been on the air a short time, but we had a contest uh, this week to bring out one of the world's uh, the best fan of Tim and Eric Night Live, and his name's Pat Horse. Let's welcome him right now, Pat Horse. Pat, come on out. Happy holidays. Thank you so much for coming. Happy holidays. Thank you. I'm Tim Caesar. Thanks. Thanks. Use that mic. We don't have you lapped up, so you have to use that mic. This came off. Thank you guys for having me. Don't say thank you until we start the interview. We'll start the interview. Just act like a normal person. That's not going to work from there. You should sit back where you are, and we'll do a two shot, okay. three shot, actually. Technically, a three shot. Pat, welcome to Tim and Eric Night Live in this special holiday edition. Welcome, Pat. How are you tonight? Thanks, Eric. Thanks. I'm good. Um, how are you guys? It's like... Okay. Don't... <laughs> if you're going to talk, talk into the mic. Don't... If you're looking this way... Ben, can the... you add some sort of filter to reduce the vo... Because it can't or, be all breathy like that. Yeah. We can't use... We won't be able to, we won't, we won't be able to use any of this. If we're going to go that way. I apologize. Tell me a little bit about how you found the show originally. Um, I had a few friends who had, um, I'd gone to the website a few times and had watched it and I, uh, I work in computers so I, they had sent me, uh, um, sent me some of the show to like watch. Like a link or? Yeah, sent me some of the show to watch and then I started watching it and, um, I can't, like, mm -hmm. thanks, you know, just. Ben, if you could just put a little music under this bit because it's, it's so quiet up here on stage. I don't know if we had if you could call and get um, this is why I said we should get a celeb like a celebrity or somebody that because nobody knows who he is. I mean, good for you. I mean, good for you for being here and hey, thank Pat, you for your support. What is what is your favorite your your most favorite Tim and Eric moment on Tim and Eric Live? What what makes <laughs> you laugh about this show? Actually. Thank you. I mean, I just think like when you guys, thank you for asking me that. I think if you guys are answering like each other's questions and when you're interacting with each other. It just seems like you guys have been friends for years, and, okay. and there's going to be like plenty more, um, you know, fun times to be having for everybody. And right. I just think I would watch it if it was on like, like every every second of the day, I would just watch mm -hmm. it like, like all day. Well, well friends, that's why uh, sometimes contests are a really cool thing to do, and other times it's it's a gamble. It's a waste. Um, guys, thank you so much for, for you know. I want to uh, talk to you guys. We thank are talking guys. about just let the show flow. I can't fucking, I can't even believe him. I know you can't. Thanks um, a lot, Pat. Guys, uh, we're, ta we're talking about holiday traditions, and um, my family has an interesting tradition. I was telling you about this mm -hmm. before the show. Um, we always have a great debate. We call it the great debate, and we'll take current issues, topical events, such as uh, the abortion issue, or who's running for president, gay rights, such and uh, such. That sounds and, good. Um, holiday traditions, holiday traditions. Um, I thought it would be a great idea if Pat, since you're such a fan of Night Live, my uncle Vance Thanks. is in the studio tonight. He's here? Yeah, he's he's over there. And Uncle Vance is not what you'd call a fan of our show. He doesn't uh, think what we do is funny. And uh, <clears throat> eggnog is just... He's also quite an asshole. Yeah, he's a... Yeah. I grew up near Uncle Vance. And he used to, when I was young, about 12 years old, he used to pile drive me right in the snow. So right. I don't know why you'd bring him on the show. So I thought it would be funny if you could defend... Night Live, and Uncle Vance, you could take the uh, position that, that it's not worth people watching. Would love so, to. Would that be fine? We can, can we do that? Pat? Can we send that over? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, guys. The Great Heidecker Debate. Traditions, holiday traditions. Nice to meet you, Pat. Hi. You like this show? Yeah. Having a great time? I've watched it like six times, and I think just like every time I've watched it, it just more and more fun comes with each time. More and more? What are you doing with your life? Are you on the internet? Are you in chat rooms? I mean, this ain't where it's at. I come out here, they're wasting food. They got the freaking Osmond family out here. You got these punk kids you look up to, Eric and Tim. Yeah. Okay. I don't get it. I, I work in computers, so I spend a lot of time on the computer, and I watch all the episodes. What, what do you, you watch? What do you? Gratitude. What is this guy? Look at this. Okay. 
Calm down. We need to be so grateful. What is this, MC Hammer? Coming. Okay. I have a that piece coming. I'm Uncle Vance. They Merry flew Christmas. me out here. Okay. May you have David, a piece of mind. This is what I'm talking you gotta about. Have a piece of you they can't control. Stop it. This is supposed to be part of the tradition. Is this a studio? Are there pages? Is there security? Uncle Vance, just do what you're supposed to do and, and make a, an intelligent argument. You don't have to start yelling. Use okay. your brain, Uncle Vance. Asshole. First of all, they're not in Discover Hollywood, one of the hottest magazines out there right now. I don't see them in no, there. Well, no, I think Tim and Eric should have their own magazine and be held under their own guys because... Well, that's it, ridiculous. I don't know why we would have... There's a whole magazine about us that seems there's like... There's lots of magazines. You know, yeah, there's lots of magazines. Don't you get a holiday? I mean, why magazines? That's not where it's at. You know who was a hero? I'll tell you. Evil Knievel uh, was a hero. These guys aren't heroes. You want to meet Knievel, Pat? You want to meet Knievel? It's not going to happen. This guy's dead, and he died a hero. These aren't okay. heroes. They're replacements. Okay. Not necessary. Thanks a lot, Uncle Vance. Thank for you, Uncle. I hurt you as a kid, and I'm, I'll am i hurt you as an adult. Yeah. I remember that, Uncle Vance, and I'm thank you again for your insightful knowledge okay. about the entertainment industry. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I work. Think about a thought-provoking argument next time you try to make a debate. I'm trying to talk. You got these, what are these? Are these uh, low-definition cameras? No. <laughs> I'll give that one to Doug. Okay. Yeah, low definition. Okay. Everyone's I think me out here. I this think is what you got, Pat. Welcome to Hollywood. I think Tim and Eric are talented guys, and I thank you guys for having me on the show. I'll come back. Anytime, I'll watch every episode. Okay, Whose thanks, side Pat. are you on? Okay, th uh, I got a, I got email. Email me. We'll go to lunch. <sighs> Pat. All right, Vance. Thank, um, Uncle Vance. Some, some Pat, thank you so much for that Heidecker debate. Uh, we really Jeez. appreciate your your knowledge. I mean, I come out here to Hollywood. I, I expect to see some respect. I don't get it, man. I've worked. I've I've done audience work. Okay, yeah. I know what it's like to bring energy, and I'm not feeling energy. What is this, a Jiffy Lube? Is that what you're into? J you wouldn't touch a car, would you, Pat? Uh, you're just kind of spoiling the, the mood here. We're trying to have a, a pleasant, happy, celebrating the end of the year. Let there be peace on earth. Thank Let you, it David. begin with us. No Let peace. Peace, 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 peace. No peace without freedom. Okay. We have peace and freedom. Let's go. Thanks, Uncle Vance. Christmas. Thank really you, Uncle Vance. I hate you want you. me to go? I'll no. go. Why don't you, you walk Vance. off? Walk off? Yeah, go home. No, I'll walk go on. Home. I'll walk on out of here with, with Webster. That's right. I know Webster. Look how happy he is. Yeah, he's your brother. You're related to him on your black side of the family. That's right. That's <laughs> good. MC Out of here, no, please. I'm gonna stay. Hi, and welcome back to Tim and Eric Night Live. It is a holiday episode, but not only are we celebrating the. Um... Seriously, stop it! Is there Quiznos here? I'm hungry. These guys don't feed you here. Thanks, Uncle Vance. Not only are we celebrating the holidays tonight, but in fact, it's my dad, my pet pet, Dave Wareheim's 60th anniversary, and uh, David Liebehart has prepared a wonderful song for my pepper, and here it goes. Take it away, David. He is my tall dad, he's ever had He's guided me right and right back He's my favorite old timer He's my dad, why Heiner? Happy birthday, happy birthday Happy birthday to you, you Happy birthday, happy birthday Happy, happy birthday, may all your dreams come true he was my best brother I ever had. He is my only, one and only dad. He's my favorite old timer. He's my dad. Why I'm a, he is my favorite dad. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. May your dreams ever come true. Happy birthday. Wow, thank you, David. Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Dad, from all of us at Tim and Eric Night Live. Wow, that was very special, Happy David. Thank you. <laughs> We're speaking today about the wonderful holidays. Happy holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. I want to talk about um, one, of our, one of our producers, John Mugar, has a very uh, special uh, holiday tradition in his family. John, you want to explain it a little bit? All the 
holiday traditions, holiday traditions. My family, we have a tradition called 100 Holiday Honks. Oh, okay. And um, here they are. John, what, what, uh, when do you, would you do that? Right on Christmas Eve? Yeah, we do it on Christmas Eve. And school. does that honking leave your hands clean, or would that give you somewhat of a blackness to it? Oh, he's part black, too. He's cool. Okay. It's just a lot of horn grease. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a good front hand. Interesting. All right. Can you I know, do a tradition that my family do for, for, for Christmas? What do they do? They do, they, they bark uh, uh, jingle bells. Can I do it for you real fast? Yep. second verse. You know, speaking of songs, you know, Tim, I would love to wrap up this holiday episode with my favorite song, and I know it's yours, The Twelve Days of oh, Christmas. Oh, perfect idea, Eric. Where'd you come up with that? Uh, it's, it's the holidays. <laughs> so if we could have the nightlife singers come out, these guys are um, season, some of the best season singers. singers. Come on out. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, come on, you guys stand right here. Hey, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. The nightlife singers, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, the nightlife singers. So are we in key? Are we good? One and two and three. <coughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a Tim and Eric nightlife shirt. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two James Quall and a Tim and Eric nightlife shirt. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three George Kerrs, two James Qual, and a Tim and Eric nightlife shirt. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me from a Ben Hur. Three George Kerrs, two James Qualls, and a Tim and Eric nightlife shirt. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five Richard Dunn's from a Ben Hur, three George Kerrs, two James Qualls, and a Tim and Eric Nightlife shirt. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six each dub pounds. Five Richard Dons from a Ben Hur, three George Kerrs, two James Qualls, and, and a Tim and Eric Nightlife shirt. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven Ron Osters. Six DJ Doug Pounds. Five Richard Dons. From Ben Hur. Three George Kerrs. Two James Qualls. And a Tim and Eric Nightlight shirt. It's online. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Eight John Mugars. Seven Ron Osters. Six DJ Bung. Five, Five Richard Dolls. From Ben Hurs. Three George Kerrs. Two James Qualls. And a Tim and Eric 
McKnight Live Shirt. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine Ben Bermans, eight John Mugars, seven Ron Osters, six Doug Bound, five Richard Dons, from Ben Kerr's, three George Kerr's, Two James Qualls and a ten Eric Knight live shirt. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me ten Denise Grace, nine Ben Bermans, eight John Mugars, seven Ron Osters, six DJ five Richard Dons. Ben Kerr's Three George Kerr's Two James Qualls And then a ten Eric Knight Live shirt On the eleventh day of Christmas My true love came to me Eleven Pat Horses Ten Denise Gray Nine Ben Bermans Eight John Mugars Seven Ron Osters uh, Six Doug DJ Doug Pound Five Richard Dons From Ben Kerr's Three George Kerr's Two James Qualls And a Tim and Eric Knight Live shirt On the twelfth day of Christmas <laughs> My true love gave to me Twelve million vultures <laughs> Eleven pad horses. Santonese Grave. <laughs> Nine Ben Bermans. Eight John Mugars. Seven Ron Osters. Uh, six D uh, DJ Duck Pounds. Five Richard From Ben Kerr's. Three George Kerr's. Two James Quall. Everybody! And Tim and Eric Nine Live Shirts. What's wrong? We did everything you wanted. We had everyone here singing. Nah. And we had the holiday decorations. We had Ron doing the hot dogs. Nah. It was, we I, think we, guy. I think we blew it. No, I mean, look at everything. Everyone's having a great time. It's all fun. What's the problem? Uh, forget it. Mm -hmm. The whole thing was... The whole part of Christmas is about having Saint Nick, having Santa Claus, and I asked for us to get Santa Claus, <clears throat> and nobody here wanted to have Santa Claus. We tried to get Santa Claus. You know, we tr Ben. We tried to get Santa Claus to be. A, we just couldn't do it. So the show would have worked if we had gotten Santa Claus, and we didn't get him, and it's a waste. I just wish we had somebody here that could do some kind of Santa Claus prayer. I can do a Santa Claus prayer. I pray for peace on earth. I pray for war to cease in Iraq. And I pray that harmony comes on the world, that wars would cease, racism would end, just pray harmony for Santa, would come on. Pr just pray and for Santa, Santa Claus, Claus to come. will come here and bring joy to, to my favorite producer, Tim Heidecker that he'll have a wonderful Christmas with Santa Claus. Santa Claus will bring him everything he wants. A, a, a happy, a new season for the Tim and Eric Awesome No, Great don't show. plug anything. Just We need Santa Claus. We need Santa Claus. Santa Claus come in the name of the almighty Jesus that was born on Christmas Day. Santa, come here. Santa, show Please, that Santa. Tim Hannah De Decker is dearly loved come by you. Come to us, Santa. Come to us, Santa, in the name of Yahshua. and the Santa. name of Jehovah. And the name of, of come Yahweh, Santa. Santa, come. Oh, we come got a wish. Santa. 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 Santa Claus! Santa Claus! I told you prayers come true, Tim Heidecker. <laughs> it is a Christmas it's miracle! Happening. It's happening! It's a Christmas miracle! It's it's miracle. Merry Christmas, everyone! Merry it's a Christmas, Christmas miracle! <laughs> 
Thanks so much for coming on the show. Oh, Santa! Thank you so much. Thank you so much for it's coming. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. Miracle. Happy Happy holly, 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 the season to be jolly. Thank you for watching our show. It's a Christmas miracle! Let's party! Yeah! <laughs>